rainwater management solutions here to talk about our float switches. Here's what they look like. Essentially, float switches sit inside your tank and they serve as a sensor of water level. And depending on the water level, it will send messages to your pump to either turn on or off. There are two types of float switches. There's normally opened and there's normally closed float switches. Here's an example of the normally open float switch. So with the normally open float switch, when the water level is above your switch, the switch floats up into the on position. This essentially tells your pump that it is okay for the pump to continue pumping because there's enough water in your tank. However, if the water level goes below the float switch, the floating switch will fall down into the off position and that will kill power to your pump. These are typically used inside your storage tanks and they're often at the bottom of the tank because we don't want the tanks to empty all the way. Usually we have sediment settling to the bottom of your tank and we don't want to pump all of that sediment through the pump. It will damage the pump. Also, we don't want to empty the tank all the way so that the pump starts pumping air. That's called dry running and it will also damage your pump. So those are normally open float switches. And then we also have normally closed float switches. So normally closed float switches just work the other way around. So we have typically a few normally closed float switches, but instead this time the up position is actually off and down will be on. So this time when the water level passes beyond the switch, it will actually turn on your pump. These are often used inside your day tank and it will tell your pump basically, hey, your water level is getting low. You should start pumping some of your backup rainwater into your day tank for use. Um, so you'll have one, this will be for rainwater. And then if say you don't have enough rainwater in your system right now, there'll be a second switch. And when the water level falls below this one, it'll turn this switch on. And this will be backup from your public water system. So it will be backup water if you don't have enough rainwater to fill it up. And this is basically a second level saying, hey, we really need to fill this tank, call in the backup water. And that keeps your usage tank at an adequate level. So those are our normally open and normally closed float switches.